Hi everyone, so a new dev log is out. So version 5.5.2 patch note catches up the polls and a lot of bug fixes. But before that, before we begin on today's dev log, uh, just let you know on Saturday the 29th of May, so this is next Saturday, I will be doing a 12 hour charity stream starting from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. GMT time. Um, this is all an aid for and this is all an aid for the Sick Kids Foundation. Um, I will link, I will put a link to the charity uh, donation link if you wish to donate now. So leading up to the event, you can, you know, you've got a couple of spare pounds here and there. It's for a good cause. Um, leading up to the actual event, there will be loads of reasons why you should be joining and joining, not because you'd be hanging out with me for the day. So we play lots of games, not just answer your questions and tap titans too, but there'll be loads of like one v ones. I'll be chatting in Discord if you want to. Um, plus we can play some Jackbox, other games, Call of Duty, whatever you want. We've got all day. Um, but it also this chance I'll be doing loads of freebies. So it'll be doing a lot of giveaways. So I will I will release a video with exactly the details of um, the prizes, the giveaways, the charity, the cause, the information. Some VIP guests will be dropping in. So the whole roster will be coming out in a separate video. But if you're interested, make sure you're followed on Twitch. And I'll again provide the links below. So watch out for the video, which will probably be Monday, which will give a lot more information about the charity event um, and leading up to it and what's going to happen. So on the dev update log, so bug, they had a lot of bug fixes. What did I say in my previous videos? I told you within a day or so, there'd be bug fixes. Um, so this is what's happening. Fixed cursed armor debuff not being removed. Fixed tactical insight applied incorrectly. Fixed abyssal regular tournament shown in eligible holiday currency awards. Fixed event panel shown incorrect holiday currency amount. So basically, uh, the, the third bullet point saying fixed 18 uh, uh, regular tournament shown and uh, legible holiday currency. So what we did before, you used to be able to um, not collect, um, like you say, not collect a tournament reward before a badge event starts, and then you'd be able to collect it afterwards. Is is a nice, nice little cheat which gives you extra currency you wouldn't normally have. So for example, if you had um, first place on Sunday, you don't collect it, and when the, the char when the uh, badge event starts on a Tuesday you then collect it she so gives you one extra tournament rewards um, for the badge badge tokens that you wouldn't have before that doesn't work anymore they fixed that the hot fixed that which is a bit of a shame but it's a bit more fairer this time so fix welcome um, back panel overlap fix text discipline after collecting clan mates uh, season pass rewards in the inbox titan hp rounded up instead of down on clan info panel increase build overview number size for better visibility uh, move dps display slightly upwards avoid overlapping with multicast in certain resolutions fix titan info panel closing when swiping down fix export button not localizing text string ids in languages other than english fix cloak and dag icon and fisk localization fixes oh sorry misc localization fixes uh we've also displayed a change to rectify issue with unlocking shipment or in a personal tournaments for free to unlock your final artifact and start charging your artifacts so in addition to the patch notes i like to touch base with the community again to run another poll these polls are very use valuable in gathering how the community feels about concepts we'd like to explore and thank you all for particip uh, participating in past polls as for the week's poll questions so this week would you like to have a raid attack catch up mechanic so would you like to have a raid attack catch up mechanic occasionally life can be uh keep us busy and we miss clan raid attacks during the 12-hour window with a catch-up mechanic players would be able to make up for missed attacks by using additional cards and decks in future windows if we were to work out work on this feature we would likely be allowing you to make as far many raid attacks as you have missed but you will still be limited by using the raid card a single time given attack window. This would mean that if you missed four attacks, you could choose to do eight attacks with eight different decks in the next attack window, or split up and do five attacks of the next four attack windows. So basically, if you missed a 12 hour window, it would benefit so you don't miss it entirely, but it means it gives you, because you can only use those cards, you'd be um, your fifth, sixth, seventh deck attacks will be rubbish cards, uh, rubbish decks, because you would use your four main meta ones on the first four attacks so if you are playing catch up the more you're catching up the worse deck's going to be because you're going to run out of good cards to use um i think it's a good idea for catch up because 
most of the time people do just miss in the high uh, end clans like I'm in. Uh, we're like top 25 clan in the world right now. Get in, lads. So that's that's um, some most of the time people just miss one attack. It's like a VM to finish it, but they're waiting for the VM to open, which normally is the last hour. So not many people make it. So if it's just one attack, it's a good catch up. Um, I think for people in lower cans that missed a lot of attacks, it'd be all over the place and there'd be no um, strict strategy because with a 12-hour runtime, you've got your 12-hour window, so you've got a set strat. If it's missed catch-up mechanic, then it puts that strat slightly out the window. Um, what do you guys think? Just a reminder, but this is not a promise, as a feature will be added, it is a poll to gather the community's thoughts and feedback on certain topics. Please let us know your thoughts and ideas as well as suggestions or feedback to add this um, add this idea in the comments. So, so what do you think? I, I'm i interested in catch up. I'm not interested in have ideas better and propose comment below. I've put, I, to be honest, I'll put not interested. Um, the reason I put, oh, a lot of people, a lot of people put interested. The reason I put not interested because if you've got a well-oiled, a really well-oiled machine and you're, clan masters and your game uh, clan um, leader ha are doing a really good job then you shouldn't need to catch up um you you basically if you've got your hits in you've got your good you got, you got a decent ping and discord strats going on then you should be able to get all your hits in and not miss any and i'm worried that if you miss and then using rubbish decks then the next round will make it even harder so you're not as efficient so basically you're doing uh, less damage um, overall because you, you're getting a bit, it gets a bit slacked. You get a bit comfortable, get a bit laxed, and then you're doing less damage overall in a raid because you're always catching up with worse decks. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Do you think it's a good or bad thing? Um, not, not not much info in this um, dev update. As I said, it was mostly like bug fixes, which I, which I knew was going to happen. We all knew. Uh, also, dagger build. Is anyone using dagger build re recently? I did give it a go. It, I don't know if it was because of the bug fixes or you know bugs in the game, but I found dagger build to be quite weak at the moment. Uh, but let me know if you've got any, and if you tried it, if it's worked out well for you. If so, what kind of build? Leave a comment below. I will be doing separate videos about that dagger build once I've, once I've tested out a bit more, because it might have been a couple of skill points or something wrong that made it weak. So I will be testing it out again, and as soon as I get like a, a pro build, I will do an a, a evaluation on it and separate video. Tons of other videos coming up. I say we've got next Saturday, uh, literally in a week, so we've got a charity. 12 hours, baby! It's going to be so much fun. Pew, pew, pew. You're going to give away loads of diamonds. I'm going to give away loads of prizes, and there's going to be loads of, I say, VIP guests, little drop-ins, a lot of fun and games. Make sure you're followed on Twitch, and so you can join in the pie. Uh, it's all for... A, really good cause uh again they've got more guides beginner guys uh tutorials tips all coming soon so if that's a cup of tea make sure you're subbed as well apart from that have a lovely weekend and i'll see you all in the next video take care bye